Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Aaron and I'm a medical student from Adelaide University in South Australia. In this video, I'll be talking about Anki flashcards. I'll give a super brief introduction to why this program is good for your memorization and I'll cover a basic tutorial on how to use the program and how I personally structure it for my study in medical school. So I've been thinking about doing this video for quite a while now, but honestly, I've only just started using Anki at the beginning of this year. So I wanted to use it for like a good period of time before I actually gave my opinion on it. If you want to skip around the video to different sections, just feel free to check out the timestamps in the description below. And we'll get started with what spaced repetition is. So spaced repetition is when you review a topic once and then you have a break and you then you review that same topic again at a later date. So as you can see here in the diagram, you look at the topic for the first time and the rate in which you forget that topic is actually very, very fast. But the thing with Anki is that when you make the flashcards, it makes a schedule and when you have to review those flashcards again. So if you look here, so, you've so you looked at the first time and then you're forgetting it really fast. Anki schedules a card, you, re you review it again and you can see that the rate in which you're forgetting the information is actually a lot slower. And then Anki schedules another card two days later, you review it again, and then you are forgetting it at an even slower rate. And Anki keeps scheduling these cards until you reach a point where you retain the information. So brand new or difficult flashcards are given to you more often, and easy flashcards that you get correct all the time are shown less frequently. So space repetition has been proven to be a more effective way of learning than simply just sitting down and reading the same body of text for hours on end. It's also a form of active learning because you actually have to think about uh, your answer rather than passively reading bodies of text from a textbook and not thinking about anything. So we'll now move on to my current Anki setup and how you can make basic flashcards. So you can see here, um, yeah, there's not much cards here at the moment because I've just started a new semester. But semester one revision is all my cards from semester one, so maybe around 200 cards. And I've put them, I've like organized it in a way such that it drip feeds me 20 cards a day just to keep me up to date with what I covered in semester one. And I've covered three cases so far in semester two. So I've got the anatomy and I've got um, all these cases here. So I think we'll make a deck and just demonstrate how you actually do it. So what should we call this? We'll get like subscribe the channel. Alright, so we've made another deck here and now we want to add the, add the cards to the deck. So we'll go click on it, we'll add a card and this is just the default, we'll change to the default one, so which is just the image one right here. So what you do is you write a question at the front of the card and then you write the answer on the back of the card. So what should that question be? We'll be like, um, what is my name and I'll be like this Aaron and if you want you can import an image so so we'll add that to the, to the deck we'll close it and we'll preview the card now so what is my name and then we'll look on the back of the card my name is Aaron so there's also lots of add-ons that you can download for Anki as well so if we go back to our deck that we just made and we add another card, one of the add-ons is actually called, one of the add-ons you can download is called Image Occlusion Enhanced. And basically what that allows you to do is block out parts of a picture and then, so that's in the front of the card, and then on the back of the card you can see what's blocked out. So this will be better explained if I get a picture off the internet. So conveniently you've got a picture here of the skull so we will copy image, go back to Enki, and then click this button right here. It should come up with the skull, there we go. We'll zoom in a little bit, just oh, too much. Oh well. So we can see here that all the words of uh, the anatomy of the skull is uncovered. But we can do this with image occlusion enhanced and block a word like that. And we can do that for each of the words like this. So this is really useful for anatomy. Takes a little while. 
And once you're done, see all these things are, let's see if this works, if all these things are covered. Yeah, and then you can make cards based off of it, based off of it. So you can be like hide all, but guess one. So if you do that, it'll add a few cards. So I added eight cards to this deck. So we'll close this out and then check out the cards that we made. So go here. So we'll study now. So what is my name? It's, this is the card that we, we made before. My name is Aaron. We'll show you answer. So we got it correct. That's pretty easy. So we'll give it a four day period before we actually do this question again. And you can see here, um, we want to find out what, um, yeah, we have to answer what is underneath each of the boxes. So I'm pretty sure this is like the, just the frontal bone. Let's see what it says. Yeah, frontal bone. And that was pretty good. I'll give it 10 minutes. And then so this is probably the temporal bone. Yeah, there we go. It's good. I don't know what this one is, so if you can't answer a question, you can show the answer and we'll be like, oh, this question was pretty hard, so I'll do it again in like very, very soon. So that's probably the mandible. That's pretty easy. It will go four days. And basically, that's all you do. Um, you can do it when you're standing in line, do it on, when you're on the train. It's pretty easy. So we'll get out of this now. And I guess I'll just show you how you can get image occlusion in Hearts because it's not included in, by default in the Anki program. So what you do is you go to Tools, I'm pretty sure, yes you do. Go to Add-ons and you can go get Add-ons and then Browse Add-ons. And this will bring you to the Anki website, which will give you a massive list of all the add-ons that the community has actually programmed for this, for Anki. And if you want to find image occlusion in Hearts, you just control F image collision click on it and it'll give you a tutorial on how to download it so that's pretty easy so what's cool about Anki is that you can import cards that people have already made and upload it on the internet so I'll show you how to do that now so normally you can go to a, like the Anki website and just download the cards so we go to import file I've already downloaded a set of cards for this video so we can see right here, maybe we can find it somewhere. Immunology and serology, there we go. So this person has made all these cards here, 602 cards, close. And you can see that they've added, so it's been added to my uh, list of cards to do. Although this is pretty useful, I would advise against it doing this and would instead encourage you guys to make your own cards because this is also a form of revision. revision. And by just downloading cards off the internet, you're kind of cutting away how much revision uh, you're doing. So my overall opinion on Anki is that it's a really cool tool to use in order to make your study more efficient. Um, you can download the app on your phone and sync it with your laptop. So what I like to do is make the flashcards on the laptop, sync it on the phone, and then I can use the phone to, or like on the train and just do the flashcards there. So my only problem with Anki is that if you miss a few days of doing the flashcards, or you get deeper into the semester and you're adding lots of content to it, it can get really hard to keep up. So sometimes you can have up to like 200 flashcards that you have to do and not enough time to do it in. So I guess that's not really a flaw of the app, it's more a flaw in your like work ethic. But yeah, just something to uh, consider. So anyway, that's my basic review of Anki. If you found this video useful, consider subscribing to the channel and, and liking the video, which would be really cool. Feel free to ask questions in the comments section and I'll make sure to get around to them as soon as I can. I'll see you guys around in two weeks time, so have a good day.